So this is the problem limit as x approaches infinity of 10 minus x squared over 5 plus 3x squared. Let's start by treating the numerator and denominator as separate functions. So if we have the function, for example, if f of x is equal to 10 minus 6x squared, what happens as x approaches infinity? Well, this is a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient. So it's going to have the in behavior of down down. So that's going to approach negative infinity for the numerator. For the denominator, this is an exponential function. It has a positive leading coefficient. And so if we treat the bottom as g of x is 5 plus 3 e to the x, it's going to have a general shape that looks like this. It's important to know your, what your function shapes are for these types of problems. So as x approaches infinity, the graph is going to go to positive infinity. So here we have the form of infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. But that means that we can use L'Hopital's formula, or L'Hopital's rule, on this problem. So using L'Hopital's rule, that means we can take the derivative of the top, the derivative of the top, and the derivative of the bottom separately. So let's rewrite our problem as limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of the top, the 10 will go to 0, and then this term will be negative 12x, using the power rule, over, again, the 5 is a constant, so it's going to go to 0, and the e to the x is going to stay the same. The coefficient will just drop down, so that'll make 3e to the x. And those are just general um, derivative rules. And also keep in mind that I took the derivative of the top as an individual function and the derivative of the bottom separately as an individual function, and I didn't use the quotient rule because I'm using L'Hopital's rule to take this derivative. Okay, from here, what can we do? We can check on our top function and our bottom function a second time. Here we have negative 12x as the numerator function. So now let's take this as a separate problem. And if our top function, we'll call f of x, is equal to negative 12x, that's going to be a straight line with a slope that's going down. So that's going to, as x approaches infinity, or goes to the right, it will go, the function will go down to negative infinity. So the numerator is going to be negative infinity once again. Our denominator is basically going to be a very similar function as before, but just without that constant. So it's still going to have the same shape of the positive co leading coefficient of the e to the x function. So that's going to be infinity. Okay, so this time we don't get a this time we don't get an indeterminate form of or wait, sorry, that is supposed to be an infinity. I wrote an 8, but it's this is supposed to be infinity. Sorry about that. Okay, so it is negative infinity over infinity. We do get an indeterminate form again, so that means that we can take L'Hopital's rule again using this function that we just came up with. So we can use L'Hopital's rule as many times as we get that it indeterminate form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Okay, so taking L'Hopital's rule again and taking the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, the derivative of negative 12x is negative 12 and the derivative of 3e to the x is again 3e to the x. So now this time, okay, let me rewrite that e. This time the numerator is only a number so we don't have any function to plug in, so that will just remain the same on the top, negative 12. Our denominator, though, similarly to last time, is going to be infinity. So since we have a number over infinity, that is going to simplify to 0. 
any constant, any constant over infinity makes zero. Okay, well, I hope this homework help solution was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and subs subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see similar homework help problems. Also, if you have a particular problem that you'd like to see a video of, feel free to comment that down in the comments or send me an email to the email listed in the description. I'm making videos like this all the time, and that would even help me to figure out what questions that my students are most wanting to see homework help videos like this for. Okay, well thanks for watching and happy studies.